Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin guide. In today's video I will be teaching you guys how to build the 7-Eleven from of course Stranger Things Season 3. Uh, now if you haven't checked out the Todd Father tutorial, you're going to probably need this one to go with the whole 7-Eleven today. Well, not need it, but uh, if you want to add a little bit of extra detail, then it's worth having the car too. So this is also on the channel, I'll drop a link to it in the description, and uh, yeah, you can add the Todd Father to recreate one of the coolest scenes in Stranger Things Season 3, well, one of the most iconic. Um, so yeah, we've got the entire complex to build today, we've got the actual big 7-Eleven sign there, the small little... Uh, petrol pumps just here and then we have the actual sort of uh, where you go to pay for fuel and whatnot. I don't really know what this is called, I guess a kiosk um, back here. We've got like an ice machine that side, a telephone this side, a little recycle bin or something just there and then around the corner we have the skip with uh, quite a lot of rubbish and these are actually the manky sort of pumpkins and stuff we see uh, during season three as well. I thought I'd put some of these in the dumpster back here because I think it adds a bit more of a uh, Stranger Things season three kind of vibe to the whole thing. On the inside of this we do have some details to add as well, we have a bunch of snacks and things that you can get at the roadside, and then of course these fridges and whatnot that hold drinks, and then the very iconic slushy machine. Uh, there's also a lot of like tobacco and you know all the random things they have behind the counter at these different gas stations as well. So yeah, we've got a lot to do. It's probably going to be a two-part uh, tutorial, but uh, I will drop you know the description to the second part if there is one in the description as well, so you can beam on over there and complete your build. But let's just get started with today's tutorial. Okay then, so we've gone ahead and grab the materials to get us started with the actual layout of our forecourt. So you're going to need a space around 45 blocks in width by about 55 blocks upwards. So um, if I go to my original one, I can show you what I mean by that. So we're going to go along the corridor, which uh, is how you kind of tell coordinates, which is this kind of dimension here, which is going to be about 40 blocks. And then, well, 45 blocks I recommend, just so you can get a little bit over each side of the road, so you can add in that post up there. So 45, and then we'll go upwards to build basically a square. Uh, and this is going to be about 55 blocks, just so you can get the clearance on this building back here. So yeah, that'll give you enough space to build this in your city. And then I've added a little carpet block down here, just so I know where I'm going to build to be in line with my original one. Okay, so for your materials, you want to take yourself some yellow and some white concrete some smooth stone, some stone, some yellow and some white carpet, some cyan terracotta, some grey concrete powder, and finally a nether brick wall. Now for these two um, grey and cyan materials, these are going to be for my road, so you don't actually have to use the same ones as me. If you guys have something for your own Hawkins already, you can switch these out for your road materials. Alright, let's get, let's get started. So, firstly, I want to go ahead and just kind of cut in the floor. So I'm going to go and start just a little bit over here, uh, about here we'll do, and I'm going to cut along for 40 to my left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, like so. Then from this, this block in the floor here, on your 40th kind of passage, we're going to count number 1 here on the 40th one, and go up until we reach 15. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, like so. Now you may want to quickly double check every single dimension you have so far, just to be on the safe side. I'm going to do the same and then we'll get back to it. So yep, luckily everything is looking in order. So we're going to now take ourselves our stone blocks and we're going to go ahead and build two back from the top of the uh, kind of uh, strange shape we have just here. So go two blocks like so, and then we'll build this along for eight in total. So we're going to go back on ourselves, so we kind of go adjacent to this 40 blocks here. So that's two. Let's go for a third one, which is actually going to be two blocks in length, so we'll use this as our dimension from now on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight blocks like so. Build this all the way up to two rows like that. And then you want to outline it with your smooth stone just at the front here. That will be our kind of curb side, so that the cars can't drive on the pathway. Then we'll go ahead and take our white concrete, and we'll start here and build three. Then we'll place a block here, and then we'll place two going backwards, like so. Then we'll go up from this one, just here, and we'll leave a diagonal just there. And then we'll go to here, and build one, two, three. And build one here, and then two this way. So two arrows for kind of floor arrows. Uh, for cars to uh, know which way they're supposed to be going. 
Then we'll go ahead and add in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight smooth stone blocks in here. And then your two rows of eight stone behind it. Both in line with the uh, eight lots of smooth stone. And then past that, we'll go ahead and build some more arrows. So we'll go to the second block back here. One, two, three white concrete. One block just here. And then two back this way. Then we'll go diagonal from this one up to here. And we'll build one, two, three. One up here and two down this way. Now both are going to be in line with one another for all four of these arrows, which is awesome. Then past this one, we need to go ahead and add in another lot of eight. So we'll go to here. So you just make sure that you leave that row empty. Start your smooth stone. And we're actually going to build this to 10 instead of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I said it was going to be eight a second ago. That is my bad, guys. Definitely make sure this one's ten because um, it's going to it's going to line up with the forty down here, which is wicked. Then we'll go ahead and uh, add in our stone, like so. Make sure everything is looking good. There we go for those ten, and then we can start to work on our sort of road markings. So down here, you can leave that kind of empty because we're going to use that as our, you know, our dimension. Uh, but from this one, you want to start building a bit of a strange, almost like a hazard sort of uh, markings on the road, which is going to be with the yellow just here. So we need to go back in on ourselves for about four blocks. So we've got one, two, three, four. If you want to knock these out, feel free. And then we get to the fifth one and we actually build in the road just here. So that's one. Then we'll build down here. So we're going to have three blocks to the end, and then we'll just carry this continuously along diagonally until we reach the other side of our 40. Some of the uh, processes in building roads in Minecraft is a little bit slow, but once you get it in there and uh, getting it to look all great, it's going to be awesome. It really does tell the scene very, very well if we had this road in. So there we go. Looking good. And then we'll go ahead and go to about three blocks away from this top yellow. One, two, three, because of course this side is four. So this one, three, and then this side will be four blocks away from our next uh, destination. So this one, three, one, two, and three. Then on the fourth one, so we leave a three block gap between the smooth stone and this mysterious block, which is actually going to be white concrete. Um, that's going to be for like a road. There's also going to be one here, and then there'll be a separate sort of road going this way. Now I did have to look on Google Maps when I was planning this tutorial, so I found out the road layout continuously and uh, I tried to make it you know, as realistic as possible. So I think traffic goes along this one. So if you're facing this way, you're going to the Harrington house, you need to go along that road. If you want to go elsewhere, you need to go along these two roads just here. Awesome. Um, but don't hold me to that, I'm not really sure. Being English and all, we drive on the left side of the road, so I'm really, really unsure about certain turns and stuff in America. Uh, of course, you guys drive on the right side of the road, but um, I, I still get confused. I end up crashing a lot, <laughs> which would not be good. So let's go ahead and take some white concrete in here. Um, just in line with that second sort of, what do they call these? I'm going to call it a bridge. It's not going to be a bridge in real life, but um, we'll just call it a bridge for now. So the second lot of pathway here, start yourself some white concrete in line with this one just here. And then we'll run this right the way along to our starting block down here. Then we have three blocks here and three blocks here. And then of course three blocks here, but you know, it kind of cuts them out at the moment. Awesome. Now we're gonna go back up to this one and uh, we're gonna start just a block before the end and build two closest to the smooth stone. Then we'll build two going back. These ones are gonna have some white, uh, sorry, some white carpet on and the same with these arrows. The reason we build them in the floor firstly with uh, concrete is so we can actually make sure we get these in the right position. There we are. Awesome. If you wanted to add in some yellow carpet on these, by the way, you could do. I've left them plain on my original one because, well, if there's cars like trying to avoid an accident, say, you're going to have to kind of cut across a little bit and then go around it or something. So you don't really want to be driving on carpet. Not that you would in anyways, but <laughs> we're trying to make it as realistic as possible, you know. All right, let's go ahead and add in some more road markings. So down here, in line with our original line, we need to come back to the pathway, just here. And we're going to build one, two lots of our white concrete. Leave a block and then build another two. Leave a block and build another two, like so. So again, you have three, 
and you have three. But this is starting to look like a real road. Awesome. Now again, all the grass will be changed up to your road materials. Mine are going to be some cyan terracotta and some grey concrete powder. But we'll do that afterwards and I'll probably do it off camera because once you have all the markings in with, you know, traffic signals and stuff like that, it's pretty simple to just add in the tarmac. So I'll let you guys do that on your own. Any questions though, don't hesitate to ask me down in the comments below. Okay then, let's go ahead and add in our actual forecourt for our petrol station. So let's go two blocks up here next to the stone. Then we'll go ahead and build in two diagonally away, so up and diagonally to the left. Oh, let's add this one into three, like so. Three would be a good number because then we can have an odd number when we get to the top and uh, it'll just look really, really helpful and uh, good for us. Then we'll go diagonally up from this one and build six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fill in all of that with uh, yellow concrete. Then we'll go from one diagonally up to the right, another diagonally up to the right. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. And then we'll go two diagonally to the right, like so, in a nice strip. That should be in line with the first one, just here. Then on this one, we're going to use this as number one. We're going to count up to 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, like so. Brilliant. Then we're going to go ahead and leave this corner off for a second and count a new one to the right. We'll go along for four. One, two, three, four. Fill that in just like so. Awesome. Then we're going to go up here and just build in one. And then we'll leave the rest of that strip just empty for a second so we can get the other side up to the same position. Let's drop back down to our road markings. Now here, just after this bridge, <laughs> we're going to go up by two blocks. Just here and here. For some reason with this next part, my video did cut out me building halfway through, as you just saw, um, but you do need to go along by six blocks diagonally to connect those two together. Um, I hope my uh, editing <laughs> can sort of fix the mistake of the recording, but I am so sorry for that guys, that is a real, real annoyance. Um, but yeah, that's all you need to do, add in those six just there. So then taking your stone, we're going to go ahead and make the island that goes in the centre of any type of petrol station or gas station. It's kind of the thing that helps you fuel up your car. It's like what it's known for. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and build that now. Let's go to this arrow here. And from this one, we want to build up to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On seven, you can build one in the floor of stone. And then from this one, you count for seven again. So number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fill that all in with your stone like so. Awesome. Then we're going to go ahead and build this one along until we reach this bit of our arrow. So we're gonna go up from the arrow and in line with that stone up there, like so. By the way, it's not gonna be the same number as this one here, so it's not gonna be seven blocks away. Well, actually six of grass now, but that's, uh, it's on the seventh one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. On seven is where we build, but on this one, we'll have a gap of seven and it'll be on the eighth block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on eight. Don't worry about that, it's only because we have different arrows like so. So that's all good, you're doing the right thing. Awesome. Then we'll go up and match this into basically a big rectangle. So you want it to go up to that corner there, make sure you've got seven on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then connect it up, and then fill in the rest of this square, well, rectangle, with stone instead of grass. Once it's all in here, it's going to look really, really helpful and really, really awesome. There we go. So let's go over to this side now and we'll add in all of the different road markings on this way. So we need to go up for another two blocks of yellow just here. Then we'll go to this one and we want to count along for nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Going to be right to this corner. That's awesome. Like so. Then we'll count from corner to corner up to about 25 blocks. But what we do know is if we don't have 25 blocks, we basically need to get it in line with this road just here. So if materials were to come this way, it needs to be in line with those ones. So it should be about 25 blocks, but this is where we see if we're right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and it is in line. Whew. Thank goodness. So remember to count that from corner to corner. And now you can build this along to connect it to the other side. And we actually have our markings ready to go. Well, basically ready to go <laughs> for the rest of our uh, petrol station. So one thing to do next is to take your yellow carpet and fill in all of the yellow carpet in the forecourt. So anything basically beyond the arrows is our forecourt. And we're going to add in these carpets just to outline the entire structure. I'll come back and flatten some of those later. Just like this. It just adds a bit more differentiation between the outside roads and whatnot. And uh, helps drivers know that they're actually in a, you know, a very, very slow area, so they shouldn't really drive fast, especially not in a petrol station. One time, a funny story with a petrol station. Well, not really that, that funny for the company, but <laughs> I think it's funny for um, people outside of the company. Um, this uh, We have like a petrol station in my town um, next to the supermarket. And um, this lady thought that it was a drive through like paying one, um, because in the north of England, they usually have huge supermarkets with like drive through petrol stations so you pay for your petrol on like a drive through system so you get your petrol from the normal pump and then you drive your car through a little sort of kiosk thing and then pay out a window kind of like a toll um, but anyways this lady had obviously come from the north of england and she assumed that everywhere in england had petrol stations similar well this one didn't have a place for a car to be it was literally just like there was a door for people and then you know, there was like loads of sweets and stuff like that on the inside of it. It was like a proper shop um, where you pay for your petrol. But uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. She kind of just assumed that you could drive through it. And uh, she smashed her way right through the entire shop um, out the other side. Uh, and then she realized that it wasn't a drive through. So uh, <laughs> no one was injured, luckily. That's why I'm kind of laughing at the story. But um, yeah, that was, uh, that was a very, very funny thing to read on the news. You were kind of like, what? <laughs> How did she do that? <laughs> but um, yeah, that was an interesting thing. So just make no mistake. This is not a drive through one, okay, guys? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take some more materials and uh, get back to doing this. So we'll next be using our self our stone again. We'll go two blocks in from the top left corner of our entire forecourt. So one, two. And on the third one along, so this one just here, you can build up and in the dirt again for one, two, three, four. Fill that all in. Then we'll do four again just here. And then we should be left with about three blocks away. Three blocks away again. And then a final three blocks just here. Awesome. So now we'll go ahead and build this up to five. So we have one, two, three, four. Let's do a, a fifth one just up here. And then we also want to make sure that this lines up to five. But we've already got that done because we added in these three earlier. So now we have our space for our dumpster back here, or a very, very big bin. And then, uh, yeah, we're ready to go. So then we'll just add in ourselves three blocks here. And this three is going to go all the way along until we reach the last car parking space, which down here is going to be the fourth one back in just here. So we can mark that out now. So one, two, three, four, pass the yellow line, knock that block out. And this will be your ending point for your pathway. Let's go ahead and uh, add the pathway in with stone. like so fill this all in so you've got somewhere to stand and not drive <laughs> uh, like so there we go and then we can add in our car parking spaces so it's, all we need to do for this one is literally add in rows of seven with our white concrete until we have seven of these lines now the car parking spaces are worth three blocks in width each so we have one two um three yep perfect and then we'll go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bear in mind, this is going to be on a corner, so it's going to be a little bit less looking than the rest of the ones on this long straight, only because of this corner. Then we'll go one, two, three. On four, we'll build another lot of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fill that in. One, two, three, four. Another lot of seven. One, two, three, four. Seven just here. One, two, three, four, seven once more. And then a final seven. Oh, not yet. My bad, I did eight. And then this one just up here. 
you should be left with a gap of three. But if not, don't worry, you can always just shorten down your road or uh, just kind of bend in the corner a little bit further. Um, as long as you have yourself seven of these strips, then that'll be awesome. Let me just count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Awesome. Now we're about ready to go with filling in our road. If you guys want to take yourself your yellow concrete beforehand though, and just quickly add in uh, your sort of bollards for stopping people drive on the petrol pumps, we're going to go ahead and quickly add these in. So you want to go to your second block in on your rectangle just here of stone from the front and go in diagonally on the corner there. A block away, place another. Sorry guys, the video seemed to have cut out again just there, um, but we're going to need to put four of these yellow concrete blocks a space away from each other and a space in from the stone blocks. Um, I made a mistake with those end twos as well, but we'll sort that out in a second. Oh, my bad. We're going to do a one just there, so a block away from that one. And a one just there. It's going to be in the center. That's my mistake. And then we'll build one here, one here, two blocks away, one here, and one here. So it should look like this in total awesome so the only ones that touch the perimeter are these ones on the ends then just be sure to add in yourself yellow carpet on these ones and then these ones as well those ones are going to have petrol pumps over them so they can't have any carpet on but yeah that's great um you might see some of the same materials pop up throughout this tutorial guys i will warn you um, it's because we do have a lot of the same materials coming up like white concrete for example and uh, maybe some yellow on the inside too but um, for now, we're going to scrap these materials and get building our road only. So just keep your cyan terracotta, your grey concrete powder, and your nether brick wall. Let's go for it. So before we do the road off camera, I'm just going to show you a little bit of a design you can use for your roads if you haven't got one already, um, and also where to put your nether brick sign. So we're going to go ahead and come down to this right side corner down here. We'll build in one, two with our cyan, or whatever road material you're using. Then we'll go up for one just here, a grey concrete powder, and then a normal one just there like so. Then we'll stick ourselves another brick wall here, so it's a block in from this corner and a block in from this side. And then leave a block gap and place another one here. Awesome. Okay, let me zoom on over to the other side and then I'll show you how to build your road. So to do this, you are going to just go ahead and go mental. <laughs> That's kind of the only advice I can give you, is just go a bit crazy and alternate between your materials in as much um, of a way you can. So uh, as you can see here, I've kind of doubled up on some of my uh, concrete powder and quite a lot of my cyan terracotta. If you have more uh, cyan terracotta than your concrete powder, it will look overall better um, because tarmac, of course, doesn't really wear away too quickly. So um, we're trying to make sure the roads of Hawkins, especially around the new builds like 7-Eleven, look a little bit more cared for. So we're trying to lessen up on the concrete powder and give it more sort of a cyan terracotta look. So if you want to go ahead and copy a similar design to this one, feel free to pause the video about here. Maybe you can give yourself a reference and uh, get inspired by this road just here. So yeah, pause and up guys. I'm going to go ahead and do my original one. Well, my new one and uh, then we'll get back to it. So literally it's just a case of filling in everything inside that perimeter there and then everything inside the perimeter we have here for our road. So just up to those ones there. Ignore the grass there, there and then anything around the surrounding area. But anything in this road and the forecourt needs to be filled in. Let's get it done guys. Good luck. You got this. Well guys, the hard part is really now over. Thank goodness. Uh, this is what I came up with. It's not looking probably not as good as my original one um, but um, I am happy with it and uh, I think we sh we are good to carry on uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below maybe I uh, went a little bit overboard with my concrete powder but um hey there is no right or wrong way... <laughs> right or wrong way of doing this so whatever way you've got it done then uh, I'm sure it'll look great okay let's go ahead and take ourselves a nether brick wall nether brick fence some white concrete again some polished granite stairs some polished granite, some red and some green concrete, some polished granite slabs, and finally some black carpet. Let's go over to our signpost, and we want to go ahead and complete this up so everyone knows this is a 7-Eleven gas station. Let's go ahead and build this up two more times on both of these legs. Then we'll go ahead and place one in the middle. Then we'll build up one, two, three like so, one, two, three like so, and connect them again. 
Then we'll go ahead and build two, and two, and then one connecting in the middle. So a gap of two down here, a gap of two down here, and a gap of one at the top. Then in the central column, we'll place ourselves a nether brick fence up here. This one is then going to be anchored to ourselves a green concrete block just in the center. Now then, our sign is not going to be this way around, it's going to be facing the road and facing the actual petrol station kiosk at the back there. So let's go ahead and stick ourselves a white concrete on both sides, out from the green like so. Then we'll go ahead and build ourselves up for red, uh, red for two. Then we'll place a white in the centre. And then we'll stick red just here and up to the right like so. Then we'll stick green to the left from the red like so. And then you have a seven. Then we'll build ourselves two white down here, three white up here. Then we'll build two white just here and two white, oops, sorry, this side. My uh, my game is a little bit juddery at the moment. I don't know what's going on with it, but I think it's a Minecraft bug. I've tried to fix my controller and it's not actually my controller. But if you look, it sort of carries my uh, joystick back and forth, which is a bit frustrating, but never mind. Let's go ahead and place another three up here. And there you have your 7-Eleven logo. Now to outline this, I recommend going into the green concrete pillar, uh, column, sorry, or pillar in the center and building this up until you reach yeah, just there, in line with our white concrete. Now that allows you to take yourself some different materials like polished uh, granite stairs and place one here in the gap there, silhouetting the white concrete just above. Then we'll take ourselves two granite just here and two granite just here. Then we'll stick one stair and one normal granite, one stair and one normal granite. And then what we want to do is actually go ahead and build this just behind the white concrete with a stair here. So behind the white concrete and a stair here. Then we'll stick ourselves a three lot of granite and a three lot of granite just there. And then slabs across the top in the center like so. Awesome. Now for the back of the sign, we need to do the same sort of thing as the front, but on the back. And of course we need to add in the seven as well. So we do two red above our white up diagonally to the right for two, to the left, di uh, sorry, just uh, to the left for uh, green, and then we'll outline it with white. Like so. Bear in mind to keep one block of granite exposed on both sides. Just adds a little bit more of the effect, just in here like so. And yeah, they have a 7-Eleven sign looking awesome. Now then, whilst we have ourselves our green concrete, Let's go ahead and add in the dumpster or the big bin back here. So go behind your stone and add in one, two, three, four. Go along until you reach this fifth one and then go back up so you can match up to that side. Build it into a square like so, so it's actually like a rectangle. And then double layer it, so just add in a second layer just up here. With some black carpet on every single exposed green concrete block at the top here like that. There you have yourself a bin. Looking good and ready to go. Let's go ahead and grab some new materials guys. Let's get this middle kiosk done if we can. This middle sort of pump station. that would be awesome. So this next section is actually pretty simple. We're just going to take ourselves some smooth quartz block, some tripwire hooks, some smooth quartz stairs, some smooth quartz slabs, some green and some orange concrete. So we're going to build this section in here. Now please bear in mind we are missing some 7-Eleven banners, but we're going to do that afterwards so we can add in the ice sort of uh, banners back there as well as some other banners around uh, the entire kind of complex. So we'll firstly start off by building ourselves a direct center pillar of about eight smooth quartz blocks. This one's going to go here so it doesn't touch any of the uh, yellow concrete blocks and it goes up for eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight just double check one two three four five six seven eight perfect then we'll go ahead and build ourselves a couple blocks in here now firstly we'll take some green concrete and we'll build these up to three blocks high so one two three one two three then the other side one two three one two three awesome then you can stick some yellow sorry some orange concrete on top like so and then we'll take upside down quartz stairs and stick them here and here, here and here. And then we'll do four in total on the other side as well. Cool. Then we'll stick ourselves 
smooth quartz blocks on top of the upside down stairs on all four of these pumps, like that. And then we'll take our stairs again on top of the blocks, but the right way up this time. Then finally, finish it up with some slabs on top, on all four of them. Then you can take your tripwire hooks and place them on all of the uh, empty yellow concrete blocks, like so. Wicked. Now they're ready for the banners. But let's let's go up to the top up here and add in ourselves our roof and our kind of uh, overhanging roof for this island of petrol pumps. So from the A up here, we want to come out from the side for about two, like so, and then to this side. We need to cover the entire area here so that no one gets wet and slips whilst they're pouring petrol. That would be pretty bad. So let's go ahead and add in ourselves a couple more blocks going this way. It is a little bit weird. We have to kind of go out by one, two, and then one, two again, uh, one, two, and then to this side as well. Then you want to go ahead and stick yourself up down stairs in the center of these, facing back towards one another, like so. I know it looks super, super weird, but it's kind of a genius design from the uh, from down here, like the inside of it. Cool. And then we'll take ourselves our green concrete and we'll place two here two here, two here, and two here. So basically, just diagonally back, but underneath the stairs, like so. All that's left to do is take our orange concrete and build one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, oops, in almost like a big rectangle again around this entire roof. So it goes like this, kind of hugging the uh, quartz that holds it up, like so. Cool, and then we just smooth it over so that there's no holes. And voila, you have yourself a pretty cool looking petrol pump island. Nice one. So this is a pretty basic design at the moment, but if you do want to add a bit of lighting into this forecourt, what you could do is take a sea lantern, go into the inside of your uh, green concrete blocks, so just underneath them, into the uh, quartz behind the stairs, replace them with uh, sea lanterns, on all four sides, excuse my voice, turn into Batman, <laughs> like so, stick your green concrete down, like this, and then you could stick yourself a quartz block here, 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 and here, oops, here, oh no, no, I messed up, there we go, <laughs> I'd obviously not run off by accident, and then we can actually extend the roof along as well and just knock out these three orange concretes. We could have done that in the first place, but it is kind of a choice because it looks good either way. That one I prefer just because of the lighting and it kind of adds a little bit of a shine to uh, down here on the orange concrete blocks, which looks really cool. But either or guys would work. So uh, yeah, just go for it. That looks great. So the last thing we're gonna do in today's episode, just because my throat is dying, I need to go and take a big drink and then we'll get back to it in the next part. But um, we're going to go ahead and just build in the ice box, the telephone kind of, uh, well it's not really a telephone box, it's kind of just a telephone attached to the building. And then um, some just little details around as well. You want to take yourself some smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slab, some dorite walls, some lapis lazu blocks, some levers, some blue banners some white shulker boxes, and some green carpet as well. We're going to go over, starting with this side of our stone. You want to stick yourself the door right wall on the last stone block in the right corner. Two lapis above it like so. A quartz slab on top. A lever at the bottom, and a lever at the top folded down like so. And then we'll stick a blue banner this side, and a blue banner that side, like so. Then we'll go ahead and count along from this on the uh, stone for one, two, three, four, five, six, and on seven, place a white shulker box here, crouch or shift click, and place some green carpet above for a little bin or recycling bin just there. It could even be something that sells uh, gas canisters or something like that. I'm not really too certain, but I made it into a bin just in case. <laughs> I think that's the best thing to do in Minecraft, just in case you don't know about something. Turn it into a bin. Everyone always needs a bin. So let's go ahead and build one, two, three blocks in from this side. 
and then we'll add in one, two, three smooth quartz blocks with three stairs above and then three slabs on top of that, like so. Now we'll add in ourselves our ice banners in the next part because we're going to need to do a lot of banner work as well. But there we have it, that is looking awesome. We have the start of our 7-Eleven and we have actually done a lot today, especially with our road and whatnot. Well, there we have it. That is looking a bit like a ghost town at the moment. It's looking a bit like um, a very, very missing petrol station, like it's definitely half done. But um, we will be coming back to it in a part two and I will drop it in the description down below so you can go ahead and beam straight over there and uh, complete this build up in all its glory. But thank you so much for watching this Willis and Guide guys, I really hope you've had fun building. I am so sorry for my uh, voice today. I have a big problem with filming tutorials at the moment, my throat doesn't seem to like it so I'm just going to make sure I have like a gallon of water next to me for every single video, even if it's like two minutes long, just, just make sure I down that before each video. But um, yeah, thank you for putting up with me, thank you for uh, watching the tutorial and building along with me. If you did enjoy, please be sure to drop a like, that would be really, really appreciated and it really, really helps get the uh, the channel exposed to more people like yourselves uh, who are Stranger Things fans, hopefully. So that would be awesome. If you also wouldn't mind dropping a sub, join the Assassin Hood today for future tutorials and uploads. I promise you, you will never be disappointed. We are always on the ball with new things and uh, new tutorials as well. Personally, I try to be, but the assassins themselves always keep me updated with uh, requests from new shows and movies and whatnot. So if you want to be part of that community, please go ahead and subscribe today. And finally, please, if you could check me out on my social medias, that'd be epic. All the links are in the description too. Until the next time, guys, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and I'll see you for part number two of 7-Eleven, built in Minecraft, coming very, very shortly. Goodbye for now, assassins and Stranger Things fans. Take care.